Hi, I'm Ian Cole, the Technical Director of the Indoor Air Quality Association, bringing you an IEQ-8 tech tip on gas phase air cleaning. Some IEQ contaminants are particles, and others are gases. A traditional media filter that's found in most homes, schools, and offices is only designed to remove particles, not gases. So what do you do if your contaminant of concern is a gas and not a particle? As always, the best approach is to find the source of the contaminant and stop it. If that's not possible, improved ventilation is also a viable strategy. But for some scenarios, neither source control nor improved ventilation can solve the problem. In this case, a gas phase air cleaner may be useful to reduce the contaminant concentrations. The most common method of gas phase air cleaning uses a process called adsorption. Adsorption is a reversible physical process whereby gases, such as VOCs, are attracted via intermolecular forces to the surface of sorbent media, such as granular activated carbon. Gas molecules are attracted to the air cleaner surface when the concentrations in the air are higher than the concentrations in the sorbent media. The removal capacity is a function of the sorbent media's surface area. According to ASHRAE's application handbook, a pound of granular activated carbon has a surface area of 5 to 7.5 million square feet. Make sure you select a sorbent media that targets your contaminant of concern. For example, granular activated carbon isn't very efficient at removing formaldehyde and ammonia. Besides gas phase air cleaners using adsorption, there are other available methods including chemisorption and even photocatalytic oxidation. To learn more about gas phase air cleaners, consider taking the one hour IAQA University class titled Air Cleaning. Visit the IAQA website for more information.